Hello everybody. Today we will be talking on how to install Keycloak Identity and Access Management System. For doing that, first I am going to visit to their website which is keycloak.org. Now I am in keycloak.org website. We can go to the downloads page using this link. Here you can see Keycloak server can be downloaded as a zip file or gzip file. I am going to download it as a gzip file. Since I have already downloaded this zip file, I am not going to download it again. You can download this to any location in your PC. Now I am in the folder where the keycloak gzip file is downloaded you can see the file now I am going to extract this file ok now the file is extracted and another folder is created now I am going inside that folder now you can see there are many folders and files are generated but in this video we are only interested in installation part therefore we will be going to bin folder here you can see there are different type of executive file well, files available in this folder so you can see there is a standalone.sh file if you are a mac user or a linux user you can start the server by executing this file if you are a windows pc user you can start the server using this file now i am going to Start the server using standalone.sh file. Okay, now uh, service up. Now we will be visiting to the admin console using this URL. So, auth is the context name given to this keycloak server so here you uh, i have got a warning message saying a potential security risk ahead because the reason is we are using https to connect to this server and server's certificate is not a valid one therefore browser shows this warning but since this is a local server we can ignore this warning and visit the admin console you are just a uh, one page away from admin console here you need to create a user it says that please create an initial admin user to get started since this is the first time we are trying to log into the system we need to create a user here I am reading a user as admin password also admin ok user is created successfully now we can visit the administration console here I am giving my credentials admin and again pass it also same okay. okay now we have logged into the admin console so you can see there are a lot of uh, configuration and management sections we will be going through this section in the next video thank you very much